Hi guys, welcome back to the channel now. It's a bit different to our usual format. Um, nobody can actually film the preview with me today, so I'm having to do it a one-off. Been out of the channel for a while. It's at a festival and I've been busy with work, but back to doing the preview, so I'm pleased to be back. Um, so, Millwall. Funny. Sorry, I'm actually filming this outside currently. I'm sort of having to do this on the run at the minute because due to mitigating circumstances, this was very last second I having to film this by myself, so I'm having to do it whilst going somewhere else. I've just had to stop for five minutes to film this. Um, hence why there's sheep in the background. But Millwall, which is always going to be a fun game. Um, I saw I was at Millwall. Last time I played Millwall at home, they trashed the train station. So hopefully they'll do that again. In terms of a game, Millwall had an OK start to the season. They won one. Drew three and lost. No, they've won one, drew two and lost three. So they've had a tough start. They got a win against Blackpool in the last game, two one. Um, danger players, you've got uh, Jed Wallace, it's a big one. I don't know if I'm right about Romeo still there, but he's a good player. We've got a pretty decent keeper, and um, it's going to be a tough, tough game. What big thing for Albion as well as Doro shows out for four to six months with injury, which is a shame, but unfortunately that's one of the risks of internationals. Um, Callum Robinson's back after his COVID battle. It could be seeing a debut for Malumbi. Hopefully he's as good as the original Malumbu. Um, tough, tough shoes to fill. Um, I don't really know what to make of Millwall, to be honest. They're a bit of a hit and miss team. They're much harder to face at the Den than they are when they're away, so I feel quite confident about this game. Then again, last time we played Millwall at home, we drew one all, despite dominating the vast majority of the game. So that is not a trap we want to fall into. Um, if we need to, if we're going to, we need to win this. We need to make sure we win it emphatically, because leaving it one nil with ten minutes left is always a very risky game to play. But I don't really know what to expect from them. They, we've got key players, we've got Carl and Grant, Callum Robinson, um, we've got Sam Johnson who's apparently edging close to a deal which is great news, um, we've got the new signing Keen Bryan, I don't think he'll have anything to do with the game, but he's, he's there to provide cover, it's likely that Ajay will play and Bartley will play and probably, um, probably Kit Bray or Ing, I've heard stories as well that Ing, Ingham or no Caleb Taylor that's it the young centre back Caleb Taylor could be making his first start it's a big shout but hopefully he impresses um, it's a tough game to call really we narrowly beat Peach in the last game 1-0 gutted I couldn't be there but it was a great great win last minute and that was a very big statement in what we needed in terms of we can fight to the end we, we can get wins scrappy as well as playing champagne football um, and it was important big shout <laughs> big shout out to the girl with the hoodie sorry I've got a bad cough as well um, big shout out to the girl with the hoodie um, Ajay deserves a start got his goal and played well against Peterborough but overall I'm not actually too sure what to make of it because I think we should win and when I think we should win it's usually quite a tough one because I'm not good with predictions um, it's not going to be an easy game the thing is we leave it 1-0 with 10 minutes left and it starts getting risky because they'll have a state passing a play where they dominate and a win against these a win against Derby could be big wins for us because these are teams that we should be beating and now we have got a habit of not beating the teams we should beat so this could be a good statement of intent so I'm also with Preston next week and bringing three up first time away days. That should be fun. You should see that in the video. Um, prediction. I'm going to go with 2 0 Albion. But we've got to be careful, like I said, because this is the sort of game Albion would slip up on. But I'm going to go 2 0 and we have Grant and Robinson to score. Very standard prediction, but. 
that's the sort of prediction you got to make with the game. Um, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Sorry, you couldn't be any other guests. There's been very, very, very recent change of plans due to certain things that have happened, which meant I'll have to do this one alone by myself. But that won't be for this. That won't be. This is like a one-off. There's just been circumstances for this. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Let me know if you've got a score prediction. And have a good day. I hope to see you all at Millwall. Come and say hello to me if you see me. I'm very unfriendly. I hope to see you all there. Have a good one. Up the Albion. 2-0. Come on, lads.